What's up, what's up everybody? GP back at it again. Now, this one's a little bit different for the channel. We're trying something new over here, but this video that we're gonna react to today has been making some news and been getting some negative responses from the folks here in Thailand, as well as the foreigners who live here. So let's watch this thing and see what the fuss is all about. Let's get right into it, guys. I wanna see, I'm curious myself to see if Apple was disrespectful to my beautiful kingdom of Thailand. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. So we are, here we go, let's do it. Did you smell it? I am talking market disruptor, bro. Okay, so we're in the boardroom. Okay, so people were offended by this part, I think, because when he hands him the business card and says, go see my cousin, um, the old tuk-tuk scam is when you get in a tuk-tuk, they take you around to a clothing store, and when you buy stuff, they get a kickback. So this might be a nod at that, which wouldn't happen at the airport. Paradise, Paradise Resort. <laughs> Please take us to the Sunrise Stop. Paradise. <laughs> this is going to be the best trip ever. The bye night cup. So check out the, the <laughs> taxi driver. It's clearly a man in a wig. So is he supposed to be a lady boy? <laughs> and of course, he's got all the crazy stuff hanging from the, uh, the mirror, the, which is pretty accurate. But I, I've never seen a lady boy taxi cab driver that looks like this. So why... Um, their business people would put them in that paradise sunrise in or whatever it was that probably wouldn't happen um, and I don't think you'd be tricked I've never been tricked by any properties in Thailand I have stayed in some lower level rooms but I chose to do that later to know what the food is to order done definitely done that before understand well as soon as I see the factory Guys. we can <laughs> Now this is funny, go back. <laughs> this is the uh, Thailand tourist, you know, cookie cutter shirt. He's got the little shorts on and bags of clothes. So uh, he's done his little tourist shopping. But this, um, this shirt is actually a pretty common shirt. This type of thing with the elephant or something like that. Let's look at all this. So here's a shot of Dave, clearly taller than, and standing out from the crowd of the Thai people. Not sure if it's so offensive, it's kind of an old joke, you know, are you the tallest one in Asia? You know, this is a old joke. You know, in Japan, you have to crouch through doors and stuff like that, not so much in Thailand, but probably you'll be taller than most Thai people over here. <laughs> okay, so the lady said Swati Ka, which is correct because Ka is the female um, form of how to say hello. And then the the American girl ah, says Swati Krab, which, which a guy would say. So it's not really, um, hello, sir. I don't think that's the literal, the translation that they're using, but that's a funny joke. Um, but it's incorrect uh, grammar, to say the least. I was buying a uh, coffee one morning down at Valley High Pier, and there was two Chinese girls, and they were speaking Chinese to the to the vendor, and we're trying to expect him to speak Chinese. So you guys know I speak Chinese, so I thought that I would mess with them a little bit, and I said in Chinese, no, no, no. I said, I said. Um, you can say thank you. And I told them, I said in Chinese to them, you can say thank you to, to the vendor. And I told them, come, come kun. <laughs> I told them, come kun ha. Now it should be for them as ladies, come kun, come kun ka. Come kun ka is the female version of thank you. But come kun ha is the lady boy version. So I was just having a little bit of fun with them. Okay, well, I don't know what everyone's so offended about. Um, did I miss something? I mean, it's kind of quirky. It might be a little bit outdated, but um, they showed everybody using the technology. 
all the Thai people were very helpful, very accommodating. They got the job done for them. Um, the people, the, the travelers were a little bit goofy. They weren't really adjusting to their travel, but I didn't see too much offensive. Maybe I missed something, but um, at any rate, it's an okay commercial. They probably could have done a better job in, in some areas, but um, I don't see the big deal. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you guys like this format. Peace. Love.